we can have three carbon carboxylic acids so that that will be uh, so in that case n will be equal to 2 uh, uh, here this one this n will be equal to 2 because we already have a carbon atom over here so 3 minus 1 is 2 so n is equal to 2 so that will become c3 uh, sorry c2 not c3 that will become c2 h5 CO2H. Now, this will be so this is propanoic acid because there are three carbon atoms in total: one from the carboxylic acid group, and one fr and two from the uh, from the alkyl group. So this will become propanoic acid so you can see how we are going how we are doing the naming so similarly we can have butanoic acid pentanoic acid he acid hexanoic acid and so on now let's do some isomers of carboxylic acids so let's say we have c we have a carboxylic acid which is c5 h um, let's say uh, yeah, so H two N plus one, so H eleven and CO two H. Now in this case, it will be uh, we'll we'll let's start making the isomers. So we'll also make we'll instead of the structural formula, we'll make the skeletal formula. So so one two three four and five. This is the alkyl chain, and then we have the carboxylic acid group, which is COOH. So O. H. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. So total 6 carbon atoms. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hydrogen atoms. You can see 11 plus 1, 12 hydrogen atoms. And 2 oxygen atoms. So this is the skeletal formula for this carboxylic acid. And this is hexanoic acid. Because in total, there are 6 carbon atoms. So hexanoic acid. Now we can have isomers for hexanoic acid, which will be if I play with the main chain. So you can see that I've removed this methyl from here and I'm adding it over here. So let's start numbering. One, two, three, four, five or five. So in this case, you can see that the main chain will have five carbon atoms in either case and there is a methyl group on the fourth carbon atom. So this will become 4-methyl pentanoic acid. So you can see that I have the so just remember always that the carboxylic acid group will always be on the first carbon atom. So 4-methyl pentanoic acid. Now let's see where we got this name. There were 5 carbon atoms in the main chain. So pentanoic acid. And there was a methyl group on the 4th carbon atom. So 4-methyl pentanoic acid. Now let's make some more isomers. So this time I remove the methyl from here and I add it over here. So let's start numbering them. 1, 2, 3, 4 or 4 and 5. So you can see that this carbon atom cannot be the fourth carbon atom because that will break the longest chain rule. So again, we will have to take the longest chain as this. Now we can see that there is a methyl group on the third carbon atom. So this will become 3 methyl. pentanoic acid then let's draw another isomer so this time I move the methyl from here and I put it over here so now you can see 1, 2 or 3 
और थ्री सॉरी वन टू एंड थ्री और वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो अगेन 